Hey, with us now from Baltimore, Democratic Congressman uh, from Maryland and ranking member of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee, Congressman Elijah Cummings, and from Salt Lake City, Utah, Republican Congressman from Utah and member of the Oversight and Government uh, Committee, Congressman Jason Chavitz. Thank you guys so much for being with us. It's good, it's to, good see to be with you. See both of you again, Elijah. So, you guys actually uh, are trying to get along together and. Uh, I've worked with Elijah, Jason. I know how hard that is to do, but uh, <laughs> you know, you know, Elijah. It was always striking to me that you know we disagreed on a lot of things, but we got a lot of things done. I can't ever remember saying one thing negative about you publicly, while I was chairman and you were ranking member. I can't remember. You know, we'd go back and forth. I just I think what you guys are doing is great here. I don't under. I just don't understand. Why more people aren't doing what you two guys are doing? Why don't you tell me what you guys are doing first? Well, what what we did is uh, Jason uh, Chaffers had asked uh, about a month ago to come to my district and um, and that we would I would go to his district and and he came. Uh, he had an opportunity to uh, meet with uh, some uh, patients that were uh, you know struggling with uh, AIDS, HIV/AIDS. He had a, an opportunity to meet with some of my seniors. Uh, and to meet with some young people who were trying to get their lives back together after having uh, some gone through some tough times and trying to get back with their families. And so he had the chance to actually meet with a lot of the people that I represent. And I think he got an idea of what I'm fighting for uh, when I come to the Congress and the people that I have to, uh, that, that are looking to, uh, up to me to solve some of their problems. And then uh, I went to Utah. Uh, uh, yesterday and had a, an opportunity to meet with his constituents and I got to tell you that you know they have their sets of issues that they've got to deal with uh, and it, I got uh, and, and Joe it made me a lot more sensitive to what they are dealing with and I am pretty sure as I watch them in my district uh, talking to uh, people there uh, that I, I believe it sensitized him to the things I'm dealing with and, I, and hopefully that will lead to compromise and help us to, 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 to work out some problems. Congressman Chaffetz, before you answer uh, Congressman Cummings' uh, query about whether you are more, uh, now whether you're more sensitive to the needs of his constituents, there are those of us here at the table who remember a time in Congress when members of Congress, the two of you clearly now know each other much better than you did before, knew each other much more intimately than has taken place over the last 10 or 12 years in the House. So this opportunity that you had to spend some time outside of Washington with Congressman Cummings, how did it, if it did, broaden your horizons and then the uh, more sensitive to his constituents' needs question? Go ahead. Well, I actually want to get some stuff done. You know, I'm pretty good at throwing political barbs. I, I guess uh, we all do in one sense. But I actually want to get some stuff done. And, and, and I believe in that adage, seek first to understand and then to be understood. And so if you, if you go and you break bread with somebody, you actually look them in the eye and shake their hand and you see, feel, touch, hear, listen to the people, then, gosh, you figure out what, what you've got in common. And, and I was telling this group that, hey, we, you know, we got to find some common ground. And then I liked what Elijah Cummings said. He said, we can't just get to common ground. We got to get to higher ground. And if we're actually going to pass some legislation that's going to be meaningful, it's going to have to be bipartisan. So you better darn well reach out, get out of your comfort zone, and, and actually, you know, just don't throw political barbs, but actually do something. Hey, Congressman Cummings, Congressman Chaffetz, it's possible you two are going to be working together much more closely. Uh, some speculation, Congressman Chaffetz could be the next chairman of the House Government Reform. Congressman Cummings, you're the ranking member there. Is this part of forging a relationship so you guys can have a better working relationship, frankly, than Congressman Cummings and you have with uh, Chairman Issa? Yeah, I, I, I don't know what the Republican caucus will do, um, but I can tell you I want a relationship wh which will allow us to get things done. Um, and, and yeah, that, that's part of it for me, and I'm, and I'm sure that's the same thing uh, for Congressman uh, Chaffetz. We, we, we can't, we've gotten used to uh, leaving Washington without getting things done. And, and Joe, you're right. Uh, when you and I worked together, we got things done. And, and I've worked with other Republicans. We've gotten things done. And so uh, there are issues that I think our committee needs to be dealing with. Uh, and so if we can get away from the, you know, throwing the bombs and really concentrate on why we are there as opposed to who we're fighting against, we concentrate on what we're fighting for, I think we can get things done for the American people. And I'm determined to do that. Uh, and I think it's very important. And by the way, we got things done. 
and it was good for the country, and it was good for both of us politically, too. That's right. I mean, that's, that's the exactly thing right. that, that fewer and fewer people in Washington, D.C. understand that it's actually, you know, the screaming, yelling, pointing at each other. That's, that's the short game. The long game is actually getting things done for your constituents. Guys, thank you so much for being with thank us. You. Uh, Elijah and Jason, thank you so much. We want to follow up on this, and we 